Day and night, light and darkness. Convenient opposites to explain away complex realities. But can you blame them? Such powerful symbols. No wonder you'll find them in every story, every dogma. These sweet lies are easier to swallow, easier to live by rather than admitting that life is rarely so simple. Light and darkness are absolutes. Absolutes are easy, and easy is boring, but mix them up and you will find my fascination follows suit. It is at night that we value the sun, the light and the dark. That's what holds my attention, and that's what I yearn for in the cavern. But my hunger was not sated. Not yet. I starved for light. All of this sounds pretty cheesy or lame, I'm sure. And it is. But honest truths tend to sound like that. We are so unfamiliar with them. In that coma, in that cave, in the dark, it was the only thing of consequence. darkness, a barrier unto itself. Sophia had loved those fables of good and evil, white lies for children. I couldn't delve into the blackness without any light, that much was easy to grasp.
I knew I had to follow the music, yet I expected something else to go with it. I thought that fear would find me and keep me petrified there forever. Yes, I felt alone and helpless, but the narrative conventions of fear-inducing darkness were not fulfilled. No deep-seated trauma reared its ugly head. Not yet. Everything was formless and void. Darkness was upon the deep. And so I said, let there be light. And there was light. Fresh air again. I wish I'd been able to feel it. I had to use my brain for this one. It was just like that famous song from Bob Dylan.
the picture on the wall always a red rose? Memories are a funny thing. They are gateways to our past. They are all connected, yet they don't really work both ways. Enter deep into a memory and it will lead you to another. But this one will not take you back. Treacherous things, memories. You can easily get trapped by them. But I wouldn't. I told myself my memories always led me to Sophia eventually. And this time it would help me find her at the end of the journey. The Talamus. That was the second sign of corruption. It would eventually spread throughout the whole world, but for now, I was safe. For the most part. <laughs> 